F2 Spear. <clears throat> been waiting a while to get this one up. Uh, weather's been crap. I was ill. Wife was ill. Um, got a little tiny bit of a flutter on one of the servos, but I think it's due to the neutral position not being quite right. So I'm going to risk it and just see. My greatest concern is launching it because it is a bit of a handful to say the least. Winds all over the place today. Okay, well, in that respect, I needn't have been worried. Good old flight test, eh? back pressure generally not bad okay. oh. yep still a little bit of back pressure probably needs a bit more reflex <sighs> this has got strobes top and bottom I thought that might be a good idea I'm not having too much trouble with orientation because as you can see I painted the uh, wings and canard uh, winglets, sorry, uh, winglets um, appropriately. It's on high rates uh, elevator and low rates aerolon. It still needs more back pressure. It's going to be a physical alteration I think. In fact, it's just over 50% on the motor. It's a 1200 motor with a 9 by 45 prop I think. And that's a bit slower, that's at uh, about 50% plus or minus. There's no wind to date at all to speak of. That flies really nice. Oh, look at it. Flying wings and I don't always see eye to eye, but uh, this is good reasonably slow. It's going to reduce the power still further and just sort of slight. Yeah, it's a little bit more than that, I think. To be fair. Strobes are pretty good. Obviously better at night. Still needs more... Uh, Much more. We're running out about now. That's a bit better. Okay. Pretty good. Trim wise, not bad. I like it. Hey, well done, Josh, again, and the team. I've got to mention that before, and um, Dan, is it? Uh, throughout the plans, uh, this is entirely Depron, apart from the wing spar, which is actually a CDS foam board, which is a heavy foam board, and the Depron's not very good for um, stiff things. And uh, it's got laminate on the bottom, and uh, just ordinary packing tape on the top. I can have hours to come with this. Alright, let's, uh, let's get it up a bit and we'll see if we can do some arrows and things with it. Well, no problem with that. No problem with that either. 
Nice. Well, we got a problem with that though. Mm -hmm. I nearly crashed it. It's not always a good thing. Still got a little bit of a tendency to go down. I might actually just move the battery back a bit. It is slightly forward of the rear, so your G mark. I think I'm pretty much out of trim adjustment. Well, that motor's actually okay. Right, well, let's check out the landing. Total glide. Oh, always the bush. Well, it's bound to, isn't it? It's the only one that's still growing, I think. The farmer cut them all down. I don't think he did that one. As you can hear, it's also got a um, Floss Model Finder on it. Quite sensible. Okay. Um, motor and back, and uh, yeah, see, it's barely warm. Not surprising, it's only about six or seven degrees today. <coughs> These are strobe, strobe, strobe on, um, strobes. Um, they're pretty good actually. I quite like them. Got some navigational lights on it next. Uh, right, let's check the battery out. It was less of a problem to launch than I thought it was going to be. My new uh, Turnergy um, 620, I think, uh, telemetry receiver. I'm just trying it out. Um, diversity aerial. So it's quite useful, I think. A bit expensive. About the same price as the Lemon RX and Satellite. Yeah, I like that colour scheme, it's good. I can see it really well. Um, I have plans to put camera and FPV gear on it. Camera first, and then FPV gear, I think. Ah, but this is just marvellous. Very therapeutic. After my uh, illness and uh, weather being crap. Got this on for an eight minute uh, stint. I'm going to check the battery after that. And still got a bit of a tendency to want to dip. It's very nice, Josh. I like it. Very stable. Tower Pro uh, Metal Gear MG 90s. Um, Yep, can hear a helicopter or something. Let's just check that out. Let me get the end here anyway. So. Hey, little bird. I'll be in the way of that. Oh, I can't see it. Be here in a minute, I'm
put the uh, sea brake on it. Okay, so that's uh, just over eight minutes. Let me just check the battery. Shouldn't be too bad. <coughs> and then I might just uh, swap batteries and. Field. <coughs> it's a light aircraft. Uh, foam tack hinges. Uh, my second, first or second, but uh, these are full um, size hinges, and not only that, but it's a grey and white depth mix. Uh, I have to take the top surface because just want to keep it in place uh, with packing tape. That seems to be pretty reasonable. And take two then. It's not, uh, not terrible. Should make a great deal of difference to me. Be better with a uh, slightly more powerful motor. But I am not unhappy with it. That's pretty impressive, I must admit. It seemed to be happier with the battery further forward, it's interesting, but then it was right on the rear mark, so yeah, we'll bear that in mind for the next time. I think I've got the Aerolons about right, the low rate and high rate mixture. Not a screamer by any sense of the imagination. I like it. It's quite relaxing to fly, actually. Quite relaxing. Uh oh, one of the trees. Mm. <coughs> yeah. The spot there. Yep, definitely. Further forward on that battery, definitely. It's just a little bit twitchy. That was worth trying. 
Not going to try it further for a while because we've got camera to gear, gear to go in yet. So. And I haven't made the tray yet either. So I didn't have any 1 16th plywood. I'm going to have to wait on that. a nice tight circle shape. I don't think this back is quite as good as the other one. They're both quite old. 2200s. They got uh, legs but not much of <laughs> Like me. I can walk a long way but not very far. Yeah, I like it. You did a good job here, Josh. And team. Very predictable. Needs to be performing within acceptable parameters, as they say on Star Trek. It's a little bit Star Trek, isn't it? I like the uh, strobes. They definitely help. They might help other people see it as well. It's not always quite as nice as it is today. So we'll be adding another couple of degrees of reflex. Reflex gauge, um, but I was probably not quite as aggressive with it as it could have been. Okay, that's a uh, low battery. So, switch you off. Good job. Good job. That's a, uh, yeah, okay. I t told you that battery wasn't quite as good, and he got seven minutes out of that one, but uh, hey. that. Very pleased. I've got a battery voltage set at uh, 3.7. That could go for a little bit longer, but these are old batteries and they get a bit tired quite quick. So, hey, as maiden goes, I think that's probably one of my most successful. And I'm not kidding. So, good job all round. Thank you so much. It's brightened my day considerably.